Hi, long time no post. I'll be getting back to pick and place and electronics soon, but uh, today a bit of an aparte, just because it's interesting. I use a stereo microscope to check boards and do work, but since the stage is top lit and the mag is relatively low, it's great for dry, but not so great for uh, tiny wet specimens. And I'm a curious guy. So after watching a few of the Microbe Hunters videos, great channel by the way, I was convinced. And yesterday I got this baby and gave her a spin. I'm a total noob and know nothing about this. Haven't used a compound scope since school, but I'm still pretty happy about what I managed to see and want to share some of the glimpses of micro world I got. The microscope is a Swift SW380T with the usual 4, 10, 40, and 100x oil immersion objectives. Wish they'd drop the 100 oil and just give us 60x, but that's the standard. It comes with 10 and 25x eyepieces. The 10s are fine, the 25 are full of distortions and artifacts, so I stick with the 10x. Except maybe for the iris diaphragm adjustment. In all, it feels very solid and is a nice piece of kit for a very decent price. Of course, the first sample I stuck in there was my own blood. That was 10x, this is 25. And there's some random junk in there. At 40x, you can see that after 30 minutes on the slide, a number of the red blood cells are getting deformed and some sort of bacteria is having a blast. All those little jiggly ciliates, maybe? I don't know. There's the occasional leukocyte too, cool. Then I took a cheek swab hoping to get some epithelial cells. That delivered. They're nice and flat and you can actually see the nucleus there in the center. Wow. And this is the raw view, unstained and unpost processed. This is amazing. Hunting around, what's that? An eosinophil? The textbooks tell you about the granules, little poison pills for invaders and stuff, but I had no idea of the amount of jiggling going on all the time. Here's a party of these things. They're multi-lobe, but don't seem to have three or more, and the granules look evident. So I'm thinking eosinophil rather than neutrophil, but I don't know. Maybe the stats I have in mind are for blood, but this seems out of proportion. Whatever, they're damn cool. This here looks a lot like bacteria. Don't think they're cocci, but maybe just a chain of rods? Since they're unstained and I haven't done a catalase test or anything, I just don't know what's up. Here's another party of what I think are eosinophils. Are they? Ciliate, maybe? Another apparent chain of bacteria. No idea what this is, a testate amoeba or just leftover lunch? Dunno, but it's neat. Pretty cool, I think. Now I'm on the lookout for methylene blue stain, uh, pond scum, even hoping to get a pussy wound soon. <laughs> if you could think of anything maybe less gross that would be interesting to look at, let me know. Also, if you have any tips on uh, being more effective with the scope, let me know. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. <laughs>